No, 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 go, no, 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 go this way. Maybe. No, wait, Rosie, Rosie. All right, go up, 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 up that door right there. Up that door. Oh my God. Up, up that door. Up that door. All right, go. Rosie, that way, Rosie. Marley, that way. No, that way. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's. A, you hear her? Oh my God. No, Rosie. Get that side. Rosie, get over here, Rosie. Oh my God. I'm not eating it. I'm gonna put him in the Sunday sauce. Oh my God, stop. Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> I'm here today, snorting. All right, go up, up, up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Teresa, and I'm here today with my daughter, Gia, and we're gonna be making confetti party cookies. So Gia, I grew up eating these cookies that Nona used to make all the time. I know I don't bake that much, but I'm glad I have the recipe from Nona. Yeah, and I, even Nona, she, would honest, she wouldn't cook them too often. It was like for special occasions, holidays, birthdays. When you were around, yeah. yeah. But when growing up, I, re I remember eating those cookies like all the time. Like that, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. So that's all she did was cook yeah she really did she cooked and, and watched us it's like it's different now like I work so I don't bake that much I mean I you know I make you guys home cooked meals every day but the bacon you know we, be, we keep it on special occasions yeah. yeah so everyone watching at home we're making the party confetti cookies and it's in fabulous page 173 I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that we're using for, to make the dough we have flour sugar salt eggs vanilla butter this is everything that you have in your kitchen. I'm using my favorite mixer. Thank you to Walmart for sending it to me. It's a Drew Barrymore mixer. So quick and easy to make, and you have it right in your refrigerator. It's not on, none of this stuff goes in the refrigerator besides the Oh, eggs. okay, the baking powder. Oh my <laughs> God, okay. So and these the flour are, and the salt. But this <laughs> is all stuff that you have in your kitchen. Like it's really simple and easy, like butter, milk, sugar. Salt. This is everything you always have in your kitchen. Yeah, so these are a couple of the ingredients, and then you're going to show them step by step of what they need to do. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So to start, we're going to add a stick of butter, room temperature, right here. Okay. So, Gia, half a cup of sugar right, right here. So now we're going to mix it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks like whipped butter. Next, we're gonna add three eggs, right here. And one and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Gia, you wanna do that? Okay. Oh, that was one and a half. Yes, that's good. We don't okay. need that anymore. Yeah, that was perfect, thank you. Okay, now we're gonna mix it. to come to your house and eat these. Yeah, I'll cook them eventually. Gabriella is the baker in our home. She loves baking. She always makes the best homemade crumb cake, right? Yeah, Her crumb so cake good. is the best, yeah. She's good. definitely the baker in the house. Yeah, she's yeah, good Gabriella. with the baking. I could cook any type of food. I can't I wait. I have ingredients and recipe. I can't wait to come to your house. Why don't you buy me a house? I'm not buying your house. <laughs> like, whoever you're going to marry is going to buy your house. Oh, or no, yeah. or both of you could buy yourself a house. Yeah, eventually, a, a lot yeah. of years from now. Yeah, okay. Gia, go grab the dough hook, please. Okay. It's right on the counter over there. I'm going to take this one off. Okay. Oh, thank you. You got it. Thank you. Now we're going to put in the dry ingredients. Okay. So... We have flour here, three cups. Right here. So then we have 
um, one tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Right here. One fourth teaspoon of salt. Yes. Is this salt? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, so now we're going to mix it all up together to make our dough. Slower, you're gonna get <laughs> all over you. <laughs> I, mean, I remember my mom doing this with her, you know, with her hands. They do with their hands. Yeah. Okay, let me mix it together. Yeah. Like my mom didn't have all this high tech stuff. So the dough has finally come together. So I'm gonna roll out these cookies and show you how it's done. So before we roll out the dough, I'm going to preheat the oven at 350. So I'm taking the rings off, okay? So I'm going to lightly flour the countertop so the dough doesn't stick. Okay, here's the dough right here. So this was always my favorite part with my mom, rolling out the dough like this. Yeah, so you got to be patient with the dough and massage it and roll it out. Gia, we're kneading the dough. Okay. Like this. It's looking good. So this is the fun part. Now we're gonna just make them and put them on the baking sheet. Can yeah, thanks Gia. Let's make them. Like this. Okay, like this. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so oh my good. god, that's so good. All right, just throw that out. You can make them into knots, into bows, however, whatever shape you want to. So when you want to get the bacon sheet right there. Gee, I've made these recipes another way. I've also put um, cream cheese. I added a stick of cream cheese okay. um, to this recipe, which makes them really soft and moist. Listen, you don't always have to stick to my recipe. You could eat, always tweak them and make it to your taste buds. Yeah, because cooking's like trial and error. You yeah, can add that's what it's like. That recipe all the time. Exactly. Like my mom, you know, if I've, I've tweaked her recipes, you know, and I've done it to like what I, you know, what I like. So don't think you have to be perfect because you don't. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Yeah. I remember growing up, I never cooked with my, you know, I never cooked growing, you know, at home. And then I started cooking like after I got married. Yeah. Because then I was like, all right, now I'm a housewife. Now I get to do this every day. Fun. No, I'm uh -huh. kidding. <laughs> Let's get these in the oven, and while these bake, we'll work on our icing. Okay. The cookies are in the oven baking, so now we're going to make the icing for the top. All right, we're going to start with one cup of confectioner sugar right here. It's already measured out. Okay, then we're going to add the milk, two tablespoons of milk. One, two, thank you. Gia, can you get the vanilla? Half yeah. A, we need a half a teaspoon of the vanilla. Right. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, okay. and now we're going to mix it. A lot of people like a lot of icing. I like, I don't like that much icing. That's it, it's done. It's so easy. Right here. All right, the icing's done. Oh, gee, I, I just had the beep, the timer went off. Okay, I'll go Can off. you get them out of the oven? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I spread them out. Do you want one here or the stove? Yeah, yeah, put them right here. So we bake them for 15 to 20 minutes, but it's up to you, like, as you keep baking them, you'll see if you want to cook them a little less, you cook them to your liking. So now we're gonna add the icing. Here's the icing, and then I'll sprinkle the sprinkles on them. Okay. See, these, this is my version of sprinkle cookies. Yes, the Italian version. Yes, this is the Italian version. See, just 
pour it on. Beautiful. And here's the sprinkles. Look how beautiful. Oh my God, it looks so good. I love the way you put the icing on it. It <laughs> looks so luscious. Voila. They look very yummy. Don't they look yummy? Yes. Not those store-bought ones. Yeah, we'll never do those. Yeah, well, this was so much fun making these with you. Did you like it? Yeah. Oh, my God. Now I can't wait to come to your house and you make them. Yes, they'll be waiting for you. So, voila. Very yummy. From our house to your house. Mwah. I hope you guys like my recipe. Thank you, Gia, for making this recipe with me. It was so no much problem. fun. Thanks for having um, me. I, so please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. No. All right, Moss, how you doing? Okay. All right, guys, so like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of my mom's recipes. Thank you.